Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful summer morning here in Minnesota. So today I'm back out here at one of my favorite little lakes for some big largemouth bass. That's what we're after on this trip. And I have an interesting lure we're going to try to catch them on. So what I have here is a beaver lure. It's the Berkeley Bucktooth Chapo. This is actually a Dick's Sporting Goods exclusive version of the Berkeley Chapo. Kind of a weird lure imitating a beaver, I guess, but I know there's some big bass on this lake that may just eat such a lure. There are a couple of beaver lodges out here as well, so I figure what better place to throw a beaver lure around than out here. So I think this bucktooth chopo might actually work pretty well out here. It's a chopo style lure, kind of like a whopper plopper. It's got that spinning tail on the back. Should work really well for covering water. And on this lake, a lot of times that's the name of the game. It just covers as much water as I can. It seems to be how I get the best results for finding those big bass. There's just so much weed cover out here for them. Pretty much the entire lake has lily pads that come out about 10, 20 feet off the shoreline and then there's cabbage weeds about 50 to 100 yards out. So those bass could be in there just about anywhere. So we'll cover as much water as we can with that beaver lure out here today. Hopefully we'll get it in front of a few big hungry bass. It does have some pretty good action to him. Definitely makes a lot of commotion. It should work well to call those hungry fish in. you guys holy crap I just want to pull that thing back because my hooks are all messed up Whew, he missed it like three times there oh my gosh you guys that was a monster fish man I'm bummed I don't know how I missed that fish. He swung at it two or three times there. I mean, with two treble hooks. <laughs> You'd think he'd hook into him. The good news is the bass are definitely interested in that bucktooth chopo. I don't know, maybe that fish felt my hooks one of them times that he swatted at that lure. I don't know, I gave it several more casts over here. No luck getting them to come back after it again. I don't know, maybe we'll come back to the spot later in the day. That looked like a huge fish though. I really wish I could have got hooks into that one. Oh well, there's more fish to be caught out here. way out there in deep water. I wonder if there's some bass suspended underneath them.
There's a nice fish. Come here, you. Wow, look at this bass. So I just saw some bluegill out here rippling the surface. Figured it'd be worth a cast out there. And maybe there'd be a big bass hanging out underneath those bluegill. And look what we found. Big old bass came up and blasted that beaver. Well, that's a little redemption for the one that I missed about five minutes ago. Quality fish for the first one of the day. Look at that. There's more bluegill hitting the surface over there. That's about a 19 inch fish. Good start. this lure back in the water. We got bluegill jumping out here. There's got to be some more bass chasing them around. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's definitely a bass over here. There's got to be a bass. Unless those bluegill just heard me and got startled. Look at that, you can see the little glimmers of light on the surface. That's the backs of those little baby bluegill coming up and hitting the surface. We're gonna throw that buck tooth chapo right through the school of them. on the food source. Look at all those bluegill. Oh my gosh. That's a big bass. Don't you jump. You stay down. Right, second fish of the day. Well, five minutes after that first one, it's not quite as big as I thought, but that's another beauty of a bass on that bucktooth chopo. Yeah, these guys are out here in deeper water just chowing down on these blue, bluegill. There's some big schools of bluegill out here, right beneath the surface. So I'm just tossing that top water lure right where I'm seeing those bluegill bust the surface. And so far it's got us two really nice bass. Well, I did a little loop around this end of the lake after catching those two fish over here. 
I haven't had any more action since then, so I think I might paddle back over there to where I caught those two. See if those bluegill are still over there. I thought we might find some schools of them off this point over here, but I haven't seen them over here yet. I might give it a few more casts over here first before I make my way back over that side of the lake. I know that spot where I missed that big one. It was either right over there or right over there. So we might go try that spot again too. Stay down. All right, come on back here, you. There we go. Look at that. Another beauty of a bass on that bucktooth choppo. This one was hanging out right off the edge of the lily pads up here. Threw that top water lure over there and he crushed it. All right, third nice fish of the day. Pretty awesome morning out here so far. Now I'm just working my way along the shoreline here. Kind of doing one cast, maybe five feet out in front of the lily pads and then one cast out a little bit deeper, working my way down the shoreline. I haven't seen any more schools of bluegill out in that deep water. I'm guessing they might be starting to move in shallow. Now that the sun is up and starting to warm things up a bit. But we'll keep covering water with that beaver. See if we can find any more big bass willing to bite. There we go, that's a big fish. No, don't you jump. Don't you dare jump. Come here. There we go. Oh, that right there is the fish I was looking for. Got him right in the gill plate with that hook. I think he did have one in his mouth. Wow. Look at that bass. Came up and crushed that beaver lure. Jeez, look at that. 21 inch fish. All right, I've got my scale zeroed out. Let's toss this fish on there and see what he weighs. This might be that five pounder I've been looking for. hold right there not quite five pounds I don't know if you guys can see that he is four nine that is a heck of a fish right there though 21 inch bass four pounds nine ounces yeah that is a beast of a fish
just trying to thread the needle around some of these lily pads. There's not a whole lot of space to fish that lure in here, but we'll see if we can get it in front of a bass somewhere. Not a whole lot of space down here between the patches of lily pads, but I figured I'd give it a try. And look at that, we found one. All right, come here, you. Oh, that was making me nervous when they get those hooks right in the lower jaw like that. Look at that, fifth quality fish of the day on that bucktooth chapo. We'll get a quick length on this one. I'm guessing about 18 inches, oh, 17 and three quarters. Probably one of the smaller ones today, but that's still a nice fish. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish. He's coming right back at me. Oh, you stay on. You stay on there. Oh, it's a pike. Jeez, I thought that was a bass. I'm really sure I want to get that one in my net, to be honest. Well, I really don't catch that many pike out here on this lake. That one is kind of a surprise, but that's a pretty decent pike right there. Nice bonus catch on the beaver. Well, there's a big old pike out there, man. That got me all excited. It's usually nothing but bass I catch out here, so I thought that was a monster bass. I don't know, I was thinking about calling it quits pretty soon, but we can't end the day on a pike. Got to get at least one more bass. I doubt those bluegill are still going to be over there, but it's pretty much right where one of those big schools was this morning. There's a couple of loons out there. There's got to be some fish out there if they're out there. I hope I got that on camera. That was right when I looked away. Oh yeah, this is a big fish too. You get up here. Get in my net, you. Jeez, look at that. There's a nice surprise. Just about to give up on that cast. Wasn't even really paying attention. And that big old bass 
came up and smashed that beaver. We'll get a length on that one. About 19 and a half. Jeez, we're getting some quality fish out here today. All right, you guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's trip. That wind is starting to pick up. It was getting a bit choppy out there on the main part of the lake. So I figured I'd duck back here into this bay and try throwing that beaver lure around the beaver lodge back here. Sometimes I'll find some big bass roaming around these beaver lodges. Unfortunately, today it was nothing but baby bluegill back here. But that's all right though. We got on some great topwater action this morning with that bucktooth choppo. I was able to land a half dozen quality bass. We even found a really nice pike willing to come up and try to eat that beaver. So no shortage of action out here today. You know, as weird of a lure as this is, I'm not all that surprised that we caught a pile of fish with it today. I mean, after all, it is a choppo. And with lures like the choppo and the whopper plopper, I've always had the opinion that color or pattern isn't all that important. It's the commotion and the motion of those lures that gets bites. Either way, we were able to catch a pile of fish with that bucktooth choppo today. I had a lot of fun out here this morning. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the morning out here in the kayak with me. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.